What's going on YouTube? Welcome in. Today we got another beautiful build for you. Today we're finally building in the GT302. We saw this last year at 2024 CES and we haven't had a chance to get our hands on it yet. People have been telling us we should be building this case because it's actually a killer deal. I think right now even the white 302 is going for like $100 in new which is absolutely killer because this case comes with four really high quality 140mm PWM fans, ARGB of course, and it's also absolutely killer. This case is kind of like a mix of the NZXT H7 mixed with like a Corsair 5000D without being the size of the Corsair 5000D, but it's all coming with Asus's quality and, and really performance built into the airflow of this case. We're starting off with the 9700X, which is a really good, really good value right now. People kind of underestimate it and saying it's not performing like the 7800X 3D, and it's really hard to when it's one of the best CPUs in the market. Putting on the beautiful B650 Tough Gaming Wi-Fi board as well. We've got 32 gigs of 6000 ZL30 RAM coming in from Team Group and the T-Create Expert, the beautiful kind of aesthetic to match the Tough series, because we have the 4070 Ti Super going here as well, and the Asus Tough OC variant. We're putting all in the GT302, and then we're powering it with the Asus Tough 850G, which is a beautiful, one of our favorite, uh, art, uh, eight, sorry, favorite ATX 3.0 power supplies coming in from Asus as well. And then we got a two terabyte NVMe drive to round all off coming in with the KC3000. Absolutely killer system. Let us know anything down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm over here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you want to see more of these beautiful videos uh, finding their way into your feed over here on YouTube. Remember, you can catch us live on a raw like right now, like it is right now as I butcher this really long intro over to our Twitch channel. We stream around uh, 10 a.m. 10.30, 10 a.m. Eastern every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we hope to see you soon. Look, look at that. That's absolutely the killer uh, we are cooling it today with the leanly performance Galahad 2 uh, just blacked out um, we couldn't get the uh, tough in time for this build or would have been all tough but it's still gonna be absolutely killer uh, again let me get mic'd up and I'll let you guys over the build station here in just a second let's get started get the motherboard down and off Oop, the processor is all good CPU or RAM look at that beautiful tough board today beautiful B650 tough board Tough aesthetic, always clean, always performs really well. Um, it's kind of like they compete a little bit with the Tomahawk. Some areas the Tomahawk outperform, some areas the Tough outperform, actually. Let's get our CPU out, 9700X. Yes, it is, uh, it is not, doesn't perform as well as the 7700X 3D in gaming, but within margins in most titles, it's like three to 5%. Uh, cheaper. Readily, readily available, and uh, it's just really good value. I think it's. I think people look, uh, ho hold the 7000 X3D in the esteem because it's been the best CPU on the market for gaming for the last couple of years, but they, they it's priced higher than it should be, and AMD has priced it higher to make this the more affordable CPU for performance. Um, so I have no problem recommending the 9700 X. That's the biggest thing. Like if you look, if you compare the price now where the 7000 X3D, the, yeah, this is going to perform at its price point for a marginal fraction less. How does it, Z-Man, it performs um, in most titles in like three to 5%, some titles up to like 8%, um, and some titles like almost one to one. Um, really, when you're getting into the, the higher, like the, the 1440p and the um, the 4K, it's a lot lower. It does perform better like 1080p gaming. <clears throat> yeah, the crazy part is that 90, 90, I'm seeing that like 10 to 15% lift in performance of the 700 X3D, which is a pretty good bump. 15% in some of the games, like if you're talking Tarkov, 15%, imagine 15% increase on streets FPS. Let's get ready to a lot play. of creators are going to want that, you know what I mean? So the question will be now, the, if this is 900 X3D retails at 449, it's going to probably sell out. It's going to be, it's going to push the MSRP or the secondhand market or the, even the retail market to probably 499. And then the 700 X3D, does that come down to like 379, 369? If it does, 700 X3D becomes like the new budget king at that price point. So a lot of what ifs, if that makes sense. We just put a KC3000 drive in. Uh, you know, we love that tried and true here at Since Built. KC3000, two terabyte drive. Um, we're gonna work on the memory next. Actually, when we get our cooler out, I know Ace is gonna be like, why didn't you use our tough cooler? I'm like, cause they were out of stock or I would have. But we have the Lee and Lee Gallad Performance today. You guys have seen it on the channel quite a bit. It is one of my favorite coolers for the price. I really wish Asus would come out with a tough blackout cooler like this. <clears throat> Asus, if you're watching and listening. Let's get the cooler out. I'm just gonna check the standoffs. Some of the coolers will use the retention clips on the factory bracket, or they'll use a, a standoff set screw. So I'm gonna double check. And they've changed them on these often. So let's see what we're working with here today. Do we have set screws or do we have the bracket? We have the set screws. Because the other day we used the bracket. See, they've got the built-in AM5 bracket. 
which I like. All right, let's get our stand off some plates for this uh, Asus cooler. Or sorry, the, ooh, not the Asus cooler, the Lean Lee Galaxy Performance 2 cooler. And off in place. Let's get our RAM in next chat. I do like the seal, the T-Create RAM looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty solid. A little bit more gold than you would one would like. Um, but it looks, it does look solid. Kind of goes very similar with the, the tough, the tough feel. 30 gig, 6,000 seal, 30. Again, sweet spot still. You could go 64 C32 if you really wanted to, but really the, the first word latency is almost identical. And it might actually be a little bit faster than 6,000 C30. I'm getting ready to take out this new case. I got to get my hands on it. I'm excited for it. But again, let's talk about what we have here. Yeah, 9700X is down in the socket of the B650 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi board coming in from Asus. We have a two terabyte NVMe drive down in the socket with the KC3000. And then we got our standoffs in place for the Lean Lean Galahad Performance 2 cooler. And then on the side over here, we have 32 gigs of 6000 field CL30 RAM coming from Team Group and the T-Create Expert RAM. Absolutely phenomenal system and aesthetic looks really clean. Let's slide this aside and uh, let's get this case out, all right? I know I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get this case out. I talk about it a lot already here. I, I saw this case in person, met with the, the guys over at Aces who we were really close with. And uh, I was like, when is this coming out? This thing was so well received that it sold out and I couldn't get my hands on it for a few months and I forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot about it from there. First off, accessory box. Love to see that. That is nice. Right on top. All right, let's take a little front look at it. Let's get it first reveal. The 302. Okay. The, a, AJ, this is straight NZXT vibes. Are you here, AJ? Definitely an all mesh back panel, which is really nice. You see that for the airflow? That's really nice. Okay. Toolless design for the entry. You can see right there, just pop off the glass. This is BTF, so you're not going to see any kind of cable routing right here or any kind of grommets. You do have grommets for the pass through for the GPU. No big deal there. Toolless top, which we'll have to take off. Um, this is something different. I saw this. I don't know if I have to unscrew it. I think I'm going to have to unscrew it. There is a toolless, which right here. Um, you can slide the whole tray out the top to get at the, the AIO, which is really cool. We'll take a look at that later. So far, pretty impressive. And these are the really high-end tough gaming uh, AR fans, which are really, really nice. The inside of this is sleek right here. Look at this little, this little detail. This is clean. Pass-through for cables is really nice without being grommets. It's easy to pass through, but still have that kind of like um, maintenance or management to kind of clear it, but also make it easier to work with. It's really nice. Cable management on the back looks like there's plenty of it. I mean, these fans are nice. I was talking with uh, you guys, JJ over at Asus. He's like, we have a very premium case in the 302. I was like, I know I haven't had a chance to build it. He's like, I really want you to because I think you're really going to like it. I see why. These fan, the fan quality of these tough fans I built with them in the past were exceptional. The fact that you get four of these fans, I think they retail close to like 70 bucks for the four. And then you get a case of this caliber for like $140 is really good because this competes with the NZXT H7 all day. The airflow looks superior. Like this front panel, I mean, look how much airflow you can get through the front. Now it does have a filter in the front, but that airflow is insane. Paired with the really good fans that you get, it's hard to beat. Um, I'm gonna say you might even get a 420 in the top there, AJ. You might be able to fit a 420 rad in the top. Let's take a look at our accessory box here. We got our manual, zip ties. Oh, we got a vertical GPU mount adapter for the back. That's pretty cool that it includes that. So if you wanted to go vertical GPU mount on the back right here, you could. That's cool to see. Let's get all our screws out. Let's get right into it. I'm just gonna look at the, some of the manuals really quick. How to remove the brackets for the AIO. I think there's a bracket that goes on top. You can remove it. Maybe not. I felt like this is removable. We're gonna figure this out. I don't see it in the manual. I think it's just two screws. Two screws hold this. Yes. That is awesome. For putting your rads in, that's insanely insanely awesome. Now that really opens this up. Two screws, entire chassis. Now you can just build this chassis all day without having anything over the top of it. That's really cool. You can see right there, the entire top is out. It makes it, it's building in. And this is light, but also very sturdy. You can just see me smoothing it, moving around. The glass is definitely heavier. I mean, this is a premium case. This is awesome. That's a really cool thing. All right, let's go top down. Let's get this motherboard down and in. There we go, it fits in perfectly. Couple more screws in here, then we'll get this all up, up top, and then we'll get ready to run our front panel connections before we move on to the power supply. There we go, everything's all in. All the other motherboard screws we do not need, I'm gonna leave our two screws we will need for our panel for our AIO later. All the other screws will go back in the bag here, in a motherboard box. 
On top of that, we are gonna run all other cables from our cooler in the motherboard box as well. So they do daisy chain them from factory, all the RGB from the four fans and also the PWM from all the fans. So we're gonna go right in on that. We got the setup for us right away. Here it is. Here's our RGB, all good there. Do we have a system fan header up top? We channel, CPU fan, AIO pump. Then we have system fan header right here though. We're gonna tuck it around like so. And plug it in right there, here we go. All right, we can work on cleaning up these wires. We have our USB 3.0 header and then our type C, we're gonna work these in. There's our USB 3.0 header, all in. Next is gonna be our type C. And there we go, all in there, very nice. Front panel connection is gonna go in next. Front panel is now in, there we go. And we have the front panel in, we're gonna run just a zip tie down here and we're gonna move on to our power supply. We'll have all our cables done. I'll show you what we're looking like so far back here in a second. Here's our HD audio, get this in, and then we're gonna move on to our power supply, which we have the 850G today. Pretty clean for the most part. I mean, they're daisy chains are not to be the, the prettiest thing in the world, but they are pretty nice and contained. Now let's get our power supply out. So we start working on that. Again, we have the 850G coming in from ASUS today. We go with the whole tough lineup. These 850Gs are something we started stocking here a few months ago. We usually use these in MSI power supplies here in all of our systems here at Sinsbilt. I really like these systems, these uh, power supplies, E50s, or you have the Tough Gaming Gs. They are a great wall OEM, really good quality. On top of that, they add braided cables to a Tough line, which is exceptionally well priced, well performing, and just aesthetically, they're very pleasing when you have nice braided cables that you see here in just a few seconds. Ace's name and warranty on top of it, which is nice. It's gonna be a really good power supply. We'll sell in off the bottom of the fan on the power supply. And there's a beautiful A50G. Get our cables we need, CPU one, CPU two. Need SATA today, it's gonna to power our cooler. 12 volt high power for our 4070 Ti Super. And then our, wherever it is, hiding, 24 pin main motherboard, there it is. All right, here we go. All right, everything is installed there. There we go, all of our cables, see those braided cables. We slide this down and in, easy slide. So much room in this basement for even bigger power supplies. This is on the smaller side, but also not really compact. It's just really well sized. All right, let's get our CPU up and in, our EPS, CPU power cables. There we go. Next, let's get our 24 pin main motherboard up and in. It's almost the end of 2024. We're finally building with a case that came out or was debuted at CES this year, which is crazy. Really well managed on the back. The cable management on this case is really nice. Very sharp. Speaking of coolers, let's do the cooler now. This is how it comes out right here. This is the the tray just pops in on an angle, sits in these little these little these little grooves, and then screws in right there. Yeah, this is so the crazy part is the this case in white right now is like a hundred dollars a new egg, which is an absolute steal. So like this, all we have to do for this one, chat, go like this, go like this, because the fans are already installed, especially since it's a lean lean. The fans are already pre-installed, so put it on right here, and then just get our screws and just tap them in. All right, all done there. We can just drop this in like so. I'm gonna actually undo the zip tie real quick for the cables. There's a lot of space up top, so cable management shouldn't be hard to do even after we get the rad in. Cause you know, lately I like to attach the pump and then attach the rad. Um, this one looks like it's pretty forgiving in space up top cause it's a little bit bigger of an ATX case. So we shouldn't have any issues there, but I'm gonna pre-guide our PWM fan and as well as our fan control, our speed variable. Uh, connection in the back of this Galahad because it has comes a little variable speed. So this, like right now we have it on quiet mode and it e efficiently cools any kind of like most CPUs, the 49, now like a 1400K or KS, you're gonna wanna adjust the fans a little bit more uh, precisely, the higher, because they are a very hot, hot CPU, but just pops in like so. And just drops down, right into place. That's absolutely awesome. You have plenty of space for cable management. Tap our screws back in, rads in there. X marks the spot, perfect. All right, let's get our cooler. Let me start working on that next. It's gonna go just like so. So we're gonna take our bracket off. Two, take off our cellophane on the bottom of the AIO. Slide this in. There we go, all in place. Now, get rid of the top of our mount, and in, there we go. All right, let's get these screwed in. Nice and secure, not over tightened, nothing ever is torqued down, so we're good there. All done, nice. All right, we're gonna take this one off, we're gonna do a little RGB on this one. 
There we go. Holy moly. There we go. All right. All on. Be the front bill close up. It's going to look at the back of the case. So you're ready to pass the cables over. We have USB, PWM for our pump, and SATA to control help give the extra power to the pump. And then USB, which will help control the Leanly software for the pump. Okay, there we go. Next, we'll just run our RGB sync cable to the pump. Time for the GPU. Let's get this bad boy out. Beautiful 4070 Ti Super today, coming in from Asus. All right, holy cellophane. There it is, chat. There it is, the beautiful 4070 Ti Super Gaming OC. Got our two slots opened up that we need here for the GPU. Pop these two pieces out and get ready to put this beautiful GPU in. You guys ready for this? And with a thunk in. There we go. Three, two, one. There's a thunk. Slight thunk, not a huge one. Get a little extra support. We're gonna get it secured. There we go. Looking good. Up and in we go with the power, 12 volt high power. There we go. Slide the excess down below into our PC basement. And there it is, chat. We are ready to boot up this beautiful PC. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come on over, hang out, chat it up with us, and watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.